Hi, Reiki friends. It's Mary Raposo from Infinite Light Center and the Central New York Reiki Association. And I'm here to answer all of your Reiki questions. So today's question is, how do I keep time during my Reiki session? One of the most difficult things to get down for new Reiki practitioners is how to keep time during your Reiki session. And that's true whether you're practicing self-Reiki or whether you're sharing a Reiki session with someone else. Once you become more seasoned, you'll find that it's much easier to know when to move your hands from one position to another and how to end your session on time. But in the meantime, I have some suggestions that I give to my students and I'm gonna share them with you here today. So first, you want to determine how long of a session you're going to do. For example, let's say that you want to do a 30 minute self Reiki session and you typically do eight hand positions and you tend to practice Kenyoku Ho and Gasho meditation before and after your session. So in that case, you might want to have a timer that chimes every three minutes for 10 intervals. Then you can remain at each hand position for three minutes each and practice Kenyoku Ho and Gasho meditation for three minutes before and after your session, all without having to keep time or keep glancing at the clock or calculating your time. So you'll need what is called an interval timer. Interval timers work best because they will provide you with a prompt to know when to move your hands. And they chime after a set interval, a number of seconds or a number of minutes. So as far as interval timers go, you can get a standalone one or you can get um, an interval timer app for your phone or your device. Standalone interval timers are devices that are either placed on a table or worn on your body. So the wearable devices are generally made for working out, like for fitness, and they tend to produce a loud beep or vibration at the end of every interval, which really could be startling for Reiki practice. So I don't really recommend that you use those. Um, but even better, the interval timer apps can be downloaded to use on your phone or tablet. And my favorite one, is the Reiki Timer by Pamela Miles. It's free in the App Store and it has beautiful sounding chime that marks the intervals and music is integrated into it so you don't have to play music separately, which is really great. Um, there's a choice of interval lengths and two musical choices to pick from. I think one is Shakuhachi Flute and one is Bansuri Flute. Um, and they're both really beautiful. Um, or you could just use the chime function and uh, don't use the music at all. So the Reiki timer also automatically allows your phone to go into sleep mode at the end. So if you're using it for self Reiki practice, as you're falling asleep at night, you don't have to worry about that, about putting your phone into sleep mode at the end. It will just automatically do it. And there are other interval timer apps with beautiful chimes, such as Insight Timer, um, but they don't have music integrated into them. So um, they're really good if you don't need to have music. Um, typically, a lot of times when we're doing a Reiki session with someone else, we do like to play music. So you could either use that and play the music separately on a different device, or you could use the Reiki Timer by Pamela Miles, which has everything integrated into it. Um, I'm going to put the links below to these and I'd love to know what you think about this topic. If you have other ideas on how to um, keep time during a Reiki session, things that work for you or other challenges that you've had with this. So um, please feel free to comment below and if you have any Reiki questions, please feel free to post those below as well or get in touch with me and let me know what they are because I would be happy to take your questions and I might even make a video from one of your questions and try to answer it that way. Thank you.